Okay guys, back in the lab. A uh, couple neat things here that I'll be working on. This video is going to be on a Garmin GPS unit down here, as you can see. Now, the thing about it is this connector here. Extremely loose. In fact, you can probably see here the connector is just flipping around. It's not doing anything. It's not connecting, not turning on anymore. I imagine at this point it's just broken right off the board. So we're going to take this thing apart, find out what's happening with this, and get it repaired. Also, it has these very tiny security bits. Not security bits, just torques, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to find one of those, take this back off, and we'll check it out. Okay guys, so Torx, um, Torx screw, I get these with cell phone repair kits off of eBay, handy to have. So we will get this back off. I guess this is a semi teardown also. Kind of see what's happening inside. just got back from playing poker tonight. What a depressing night that was. Anyway, some electronics fun, sounds in order. Can make it a spudge. Definitely don't want to damage this in any way. Okay, well these things snap together and they definitely like to, this cheap Chinese stuff just all snaps together these days. As you can see I'm putting my spudger in there and just kind of bending it forward a bit, trying to be as careful as possible. They're very sensitive. Okay. Just about done. Without pulling too hard, you can kind of see there's a ribbon cable attached there. So you're going to want to be careful taking that out. It's connected to this quick connect release cable here, so I'm going to flip this up. So that white flap just pops up and this display piece comes right off. We're going to want to put that aside and keep it safe. Okay, pretty straightforward and simple board here. Got our battery pack, speaker, little magnet there, a shielded can under here, passive components. We're going to have our chip chip on board, or whatever chip's running this, probably up over here. And I'm going to have to go ahead and take this board out to get at this heat, or sorry, not heat, but uh, USB power cable. So, we've got, looks like, one, two, three, four screws here. And just take these out. 
Yeah. So I was playing poker tonight. Just tournament, small tournament poker. Man, terrible. For those of you watching this at Lake Poker, Texas Hold'em tournaments, I played with some serious fish birds tonight. It was nuts. Okay, so that's off. Pry this up here. And we have a soldered connection here and the battery pack here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the battery pack. Cable. Should just come right out. And we're going to go ahead and desolder the speaker connections here. So we're going to want to note that black where the connectors are and to do that I'm just I usually just take a marker and kind of mark it. Gray is going to come there. Okay let me turn on my soldering iron we'll get this off here. Be right back. Okay guys so we're going to want to take these two leads off here. Now I always just use a little bit of solder on these and kind of touch them up. Just to kind of get them off easy. We can clearly see this piece has come directly off the board, the power connector. Okay. Pretty tiny. Focus on that. So there's the leads. We're going to have to solder this back onto this board. right there. Okay. Take a look at this under the glass here. Okay guys, there's no really good way to film this, but I'm basically going to solder this piece back onto this board. And I'll show it to you under the lamp lens here when I'm done with it. It basically has to stand up on here like so. It's pins reattached to the board. I'm going to have to use some hot air to set this down properly. I'm also going to need to figure out the polarity of this thing. So let me figure that out, get it on there, and I'll be back and show you what I did. Okay guys, I'm just showing this to you through the magnifying lens, my soldering station. So there's four tabs there. The two bottom ones stick through the board. Two top ones solder onto pads on the board. And then these pins on the bottom just connect by gravity or force and connect all your power lines. And then feed into those resistors or diodes or whatever they are there. Resistors probably. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it back on. It's totally tight, though it's just the board rocking. See, no movement. It's perfect. So we're going to put the board back together, test it out, and see if it works. I think she's going to be just fine. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're going to rebuild this unit. As you recall, we got this battery lead to stick back in. Board flips upside down with the port coming at the bottom. Okay, like so. sure what I did with my tool, of course. Okay, four screws for the board.
looks like Garmin has their own batteries spun out. It's a 3.7, 830 milliamp hour, 3.1 watt hour battery. Imagine it's quite good. Oh, wrong screw. It's pretty late. I've been up. It's been a long day. I just wanted to check this out and show it to you guys. And I was hoping it would be a quick and easy repair. Thankfully, well, I haven't tested it yet, but we'll see. Okay, we need to solder these uh, um, speaker leads back on here. Remember the blacks on the right side, blue on left. Attach the monitor and test it. So, move over here. Okay, back quickly here. Found the cable. Don't have too many of these laying around anymore. Anyway, makes a good solid fit. It's not loose and jumping around. Plug it in. See if she works. Oh, I see life. Since I see life, I'll go ahead and snap it back together. It was totally dead. Customer complained that it wasn't powered at all, the battery had died, and no way to charge it. shows that it's charging. You may have to turn it on. Here we go. Duh. Okay, battery's charging. The attached power cable cannot charge your device. Use the cable that was provided with your device. Okay, so that's fine. At least we know that this is working because we unplug it, it says battery's low. We plug it in and it turned off. Lovely. Anyway, the point is that the, the cable connector's fine. It needs its own power supply, obviously. So we won't mess with that too much. Don't want to damage it. just want to make sure that this guy here is fitting perfect. And it's a little loose in there, but that's the cable itself, not the connector. The connector itself is literally rock solid. Can't even move it. So, another repair. Not a CRT monitor, but hey, gotta pay the bills, right? There you go. Cheers.